We have, speaking of which, another czar, uh, number 16, as I've been saying, the White House appointing Ken Weinberg as the nation's pay czar, master compensation, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I wonder, though, what he, what he heard about the Treasury Secretary on this whole pay cap issue, what he had to say. We are not proposing an ongoing government role in setting policy on compensation. We do not believe it's appropriate for the government to set caps on compensation. All right, so if he's not for pay caps, if we're not setting pay caps, why do we have a pay czar? Let's ask Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters. She favors having a pay czar. Congresswoman, if I heard the Treasury Secretary right, that's not what this dude's going to do. So why do we need him? Well, I think we do need someone watching the store. You know, we've not had the kind of watchful eye from our regulatory agencies uh, that could see trouble coming, uh, could talk about the unreasonable compensation and the bonuses and the golden parachute. And so if he does nothing more than place transparency into these companies so that the public and the stockholders and the investors can know what's going on. That's enough for me. All right, so if he's just, if there's no cap, if he's not going for caps, then... He's not going to cap any salaries. Uh, all right, not so what that. is he capping? What is he doing? What's a, well, why we do are we have a look at bonuses. We are going to look at those bonuses, particularly so for is those he gonna cap who so, get so, All right, so is he going to cap bonuses? Is that what he's going to do? Well, we got to talk about what's fair, what makes good sense, and whether or not there should be golden parachutes, or whether or not there should be uh, the kind of uh, compensation that's short-term rather than long-term uh, stock options, that kind of thing. There's a lot to look at, a lot to talk about. After all, this is the taxpayer's money uh, that is being watched. These companies have taken the tarp bell out money, the taxpayer's money. No, and no, so no I see it, Congresswoman, I see your point, and it's a very good one. I'm just yes. wondering, though, with all of these these banks and brokerage houses rushing to return that money, I guess, so they can go back to paying their executives whatever they want. Well, what happens in the interim to those who don't? Now, if their salary isn't being capped, but you seem to be implying their bonuses could be, then I don't understand the role of this pay czar. Is he then saying, I'm going to put a limit on how much a CEO can get in bonuses or in stock grants? I'm going to put a limit on what his executive vice presidents can get with the same... What is it? Because the Treasury Secretary seems to be no big deal, don't five, worry about it. What is it? Well, well, we're looking at the top five executives in the companies that have received a lot of TARP money. Uh, those executives will be watched. We will be looking at their bonuses, and we will be coming up with a formula similar well, to Well, do you have a number like in mind, Congressman? Do you have a number well, in mind? The reason why I ask is because at first it was a half a million no, dollars, am, right? The half a million I'm, dollars, I'm they said not, anyone who earns more than that too much. What do you say? No, 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 no. That's not any numbers have, like that have been put on it. And I'm, I'm not the czar, but what is being talked about, bonuses that do not exceed one third of compensation, no golden parachutes, no big cash outs of a short period of time. Uh, well, what is compensation, uh, Congresswoman? I mean, compensation includes it, bonuses. Now, a lot of these guys' bonuses are well, bigger than their salary. So all I'm asking you, uh, because I can't get a handle on it, what is it? Well, obviously, we're talking about the difference between pay, compensation, and bonuses. We're going to define what those differences are. You may well, not compensation have all the information is pay, now. Com Ma'am, compensation it could is be, pay. It, it could, is bonuses. It could be. It could be, and it could not. We're separating that out. We're you don't know, do you? You don't know. I love bonus. you dearly, but we're you don't know. Define. And the czar doesn't know, we're and the Treasury Secretary doesn't know. He's going to define what is a bonus. And I think we should let the czar do that. What do you have against a watchdog over the taxpayer's money? Don't you think, for example, uh, the people should be looked out for after they have given and loaned No doubt, but Congressman, I guess what companies? I'm trying to find out, the people don't even know what the watchdog's going to be watching because he hasn't given well, any numbers. they will know. They will know. We, we hope you will help to get that information out. As I try. I'm asking you. I defined, talk to the White House. I talk to Treasury. No one gives me a number. I just want a number. Well, if I'm going to pay pays off, I want to know what pay he's going to look at. We're still working on, on legislation. As a matter of fact, we have a hearing tomorrow in okay. the Financial Services Committee. We will be determining these things. You will be the first to know. And really? we want you will to I help be get the that very information first? out. Okay. Maybe not the very first, but you'll be right up there. You better not call CNN first, because I'm going to be listening. Congresswoman, seriously. Well, we want you to know. We want okay. you to help disseminate information. The taxpayers have a right to know. All and right. that's what you're all about, helping to disseminate information. Let's 
look out for the taxpayers. All right. I just want to know what the heck that information is. That's but it's, uh, well, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. Yes. Well, so's Christmas. But uh, you're you're a great guest. Always good having you on. Thank you. Thank you so very much.